Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a fun Bitmoji banner for your Google Classroom. So first I'm going to click on background and choose image. And then I will click on Google image search. And the search term that I used was wall, floor, background. But you can, you know, try different ones if you like. And just scroll through till you find a background that works for you, that you like, that looks kind of classroom-ish. And this one is one that I like. So I'm gonna click on that and then click insert. And done. And now the background is here. I've still got these text boxes though. So I'm gonna right click on the slide and click apply layout and blank. Okay, that gets rid of those text boxes. Now, an important thing to do is we've got to change the size of the slide. A regular size slide is obviously not going to fit into a banner. So under File, click on Page Setup, and then choose Custom. And I use 16.67 by 4.17. Now you can see that looks a lot more like the um, size of a banner. Oh, let me title my presentation. Um, and now I'm just going to start putting some stuff in, start decorating. So I'm going to click insert image, search from the web. And the key thing that you need to search for is transparent images. So you don't get like a white box in your background. Transparent, ouch, cartoon. I like the cartoon look because the emoji is a little cartoony, but use whatever you like. And just drag it on over. <coughs> and now obviously you need to resize it. A lot of this is just playing around with things, getting them where you want them. Um, I'm gonna drag it over here. And if you wanted the couch facing in the other direction, just right click on a trackpad that's two fingers on the trackpad and then flip horizontally. Um, I liked that better, but then unfortunately my Bitmoji only sits in one direction and it is not that one. So, um, so I kept it like this in mine. Um, what else? Let's put a table in. And just drag it on over. Resize. Okay, so once you get it over here, the problem is everything's layered in order that you put it in, and I don't want my table in front of the couch. I want it kind of back here behind the couch, but that's easy enough to fix. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and go to order and um, send backward. And now it shows up behind the couch. Alternatively, you could, you know, click on the couch and send that forward, same thing. So get this all set up. I put in like a coffee mug and a flower vase, um, put in a bookshelf. I like the details of it. Okay, so we got a bookshelf here. I don't put anything all the way on the left because remember that's where Google, like that's where your actual class information shows up. So um, I'm gonna put this here. And I like to pay attention to like where the wheels are at the bottom and the feet of the couch so that everything looks like it's actually on the floor. So that again, that just takes playing around with. Um, and don't forget that you can add text boxes. I'm actually gonna move this stuff a little forward because I want to write on the board. Um, and this takes, you know, just a little playing around with, like I said, so this isn't going to be perfect, but let's put a text box on this chalkboard. So here's the text box and put it in and choose a font that you like that looks like handwriting. Um, I have some fonts in here that don't come necessarily with Google, but uh, you can choose one that you like and I want it to appear on the chalkboard, so I don't want it black. Um, welcome to 
Miss Peterson's class. And I can't really see that because it's really tiny. So let me blow that up. Let's try 24. That looks good. And then I'm going to pick format and align and center that text in the text box. Okay, that looks great. So now we just need to add our Bitmoji. So to do that, um, you need the Bitmoji extension on Chrome. The way that I did that was um, I just went to the Chrome Web Store. I just Google Chrome extensions and Chrome Web Store comes up. Then I type Bitmoji in, and this is the extension that you want to download and log in. You do need to create a Bitmoji um, either in the Bitmoji app or um, in Snapchat, or I guess you do it in the Bitmoji map uh, app for Snapchat anyway. So the Bitmoji app extension, I'm sorry, the Bitmoji extension looks like this once you're all logged in. And then we go back to our slide, click on the Bitmoji extension on the top, right next to your picture over here. And once it loads up, you just choose, I wanted her sitting on the couch. So this is really the only choice. So I just stick her right in there. And there she is sitting on the couch. Excellent. Um, I also put a laptop in my lap because I usually have a laptop in my lap. So you just throw that right on top and resize it. And then just keep adding whatever details you like. Cover the hand so it looks like I'm holding it. Um, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. So first to get it to classroom, um, I might need this over just a little bit more. To get it to classroom, you click on file, download. I did it as a PNG image. Um, it may work as a JPEG as well. I'm not sure. So click download as a PNG image. And then when you go to classroom, let me flip over to this tab, you just click upload photo and choose the image, upload from your computer, um, the image that you just downloaded. And that's what the finished product looks like. So have fun with your Bitmoji banner on Classroom. I hope this was helpful.